This is the one thing I get worried about with religion, when it's used for like, you know, for political purposes or like used as a kind of like, um, it's predicated on something spiritual, but really it's just being used for their own, for someone's own gain. You know but Joe, I mean? that happens all the time. Of course. No, no. You know, any death that not we... Not just religion though. If you look at what's going on now with coronavirus, that's not religion, that's science doing the exact same thing. So this is one thing I say to people, they say, oh, religion, look what it does, it just corrupts people. Look, human beings will do that no matter what. They mm. use football, football gets used. Yeah, you know, certain countries are buying certain clubs yeah. for whatever reasons. Mm. You'll get certain events being used. Certain charities get used. In fact, the British, when they used the uh, East India Company to go to India for trade, and then ultimately uh, they, they took over. Yeah, but the point is anything can be used if a country says class A drugs are wrong. Yeah, but somebody does a class A drug and they die. Yeah, yeah. are you going to blame the country or are you going to blame the person? Blame the person. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. Like religion doesn't condone these things. There's a reason, mate. But the thing is, it's difficult to rally people around nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to rally people around something that's already established. Mm. You're doing your job. It's like, it's like Pepsi. Mm. Rather than spending millions of pounds, they just get messy on there. Mm. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of that marketing's already been done on Messi. We stick Messi on there, boom, like yeah. he's done half of our job. It's like it's a clever marketing technique. Right. You want you want to get your country back or you want to get this political issue. Mm. Why not use something that's already established? Mm. But then, mate, that's where people then need to think objective. That's where education comes in. You can take liberalism and link it to Napoleonic wars. You can take something like socialism and Marxism, mm. which inherently or on paper seems very simple. Very good, yeah. yeah. Well, in reality, it didn't yeah, work. it didn't. Work. MI5. Let's deal with the country that we're in. Yeah, MI5. They said that the people that are conducting these attacks, mm. these people, they don't practice their faith. They have a very basic understanding of their faith. And then if we look at Scott Atran and Karen Armstrong, they're well. Karen Armstrong's of the opinion that most of these attacks done by whichever religion mm. the these are done mostly for geopolitical reasons yeah yeah um, certainly they're making use of religious precepts religious quotations um, but the core uh, leadership of is for example are members of saddam's disbanded army who were and part of the uh, response to the uh, American um, and British invasion of Iraq. Scott Atron also says that the motivation for these people isn't usually religion. If you dialogue with these people, if you look what how they actually move into jihad, which is what we do, uh, it's very interesting. There is very little discussion of religion. Yeah, no, these are experts. They've written They'll literature. They'll rationalize it as something spiritual. Yeah, to it's, kind of it's used, isn't it? To bring a narrative that's, yeah. to make it seem like it's moral. Yeah.